Well, hi there. Welcome back to Tim Builds Unnecessary Things Because You Can. Uh, hopping back into my shop here, because you might remember one of the first videos that I made in this shop was little guy, this knee board. I have used faithfully, constantly, because I started doing a lot of graphite drawings. And I actually just made a YouTube video that's rendering right now, and I'm hoping I get to upload it if it behaves. Uh, drawing a really, really cool skull. Now, the problem was that the video that I used um, was very shaky. And what I did was I mounted a magic arm or zero gravity arm to this point right here where you can see I carved out a little niche right there so that the clamp could grab right there. And the gravity arm went up and there was a light on it and then the cell phone, the of which I have two phones that I record with, uh, for when I'm doing these, these drawings. It goes great, except it starts to get a little shuddery motion. So, I would like to attempt to fix it today, and I have a little idea that I think I'm gonna try and do. Uh, I wanna build a hutch, okay? So this sits at a 45 degree angle, kinda like this. I was thinking it would be kinda cool to build a 40, either, either going straight off like this, or straight up, one or the other, the goal would be to build a, a hutch that would be specifically to mount a light to, to mount the camera to, that would hopefully reduce some of the shake. Um, oh, check this out. That's almost perfect, just like that. I mean, I think I killed a great big spider with this the other day. <laughs> it's cursed. Um, but just like that would be kind of perfect to, oh, I just got a splinter, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, ooh, that one went deep, okay, hang on, all right, it didn't go that deep, there we go. So I want to create a cell phone mount on this board as well. I've already created 3D prints for this thing, a whole bunch of crazy stuff, maybe I'll share that in a future video if you're curious about that, but what I'm thinking I want to do is when this tilts at a 45 degree angle, uh, I would like to put my cell phone right here. And if there was just a slightly leaning back lip here, I could do just that. And that could be as easy as cutting a piece of wood on an angle so that when you drill in, it sits at that angle. It, it could be rather simple, I hope. Let me uh, grab my pen here and uh, show you on paper kind of where my theories go and let's see if uh, doing this together helps us kind of salt this salt, salt this out okay so if the board is at a 45 degree angle like this okay and then we have this stiffening board here and then off of here um, and I think I built them okay I built them like this these are the legs that come down towards the floor, dot, 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 for going to the floor, and the hinge is right here. So my theory is we either, and since there is a, uh, there's a clamp here for holding paper in, we either build 45 degrees off of this, a board that comes up like this, and it could just be a single board. It, it doesn't have to be anything too specific. And then my clamps for my different magic arms and things could come on there. And then you could have them over like this. And then here would be the light that would come down over the paper. And maybe the second, uh, have another arm on here that would come over here maybe. And maybe that would be my cell phone mounted to it. So something like that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. It would be very easy to do, not to mention then that would give me a place to put my other cell phone, which usually it's on Pinterest for reviewing stuff. So if I just made this whole board go all the way across, so let me do this from a, from a different angle. So here's the knee board, here's the arm hole here, here's the, um, the clip for the paper. And then if I was to build this as just something that came up like this, just a little bit, kind of like that. And the clamps would go here, and the cell phone would be able to sit here. That would be a pretty neat little uh, thing. It would be a simple little thing too. And then with my 3D print um, 45 degree shelf that I built, all of my art supplies sit over here in this cool little thing. I'll have to show you guys that in another video. 
So my theory there is we figure out today how to cut this board. Now, looking at this, we already have a flat surface to drill into and to saw, I mean, not saw into. So this I don't want to touch. I think my plan, and I've also already rounded off all the corners and stuff like that on my, uh, on my table router over there. So my theory is, at this point, I just need to find a piece of wood that we can put a, a beveled edge on, not a beveled edge, a, an angled edge that would be enough that would allow this to be able to lean back that way. I find that each one of these videos, as I've been making them, has taught me a new technique and taught me how to use my machines better. So I really like that fact, actually. So what I want to do today is find another one of those moments, another one of those elements. How do we go about doing this? That's the question. There's also not a lot of way to secure um, this board to the back. And then what do I make it out of? How sturdy is it? Um, my options aren't exactly limited, but I do want to make sure I do it right. Because here's what I've learned so far in my term uh, time of doing woodwork. If you finagle, it's going to go wrong. So I don't want to finagle. I want to get this pretty close to being right. But where to start? That part I don't know. And are we just going to drill it in? Or are we going to try and build it in a certain way? I'm, I'm very curious on what I'm going to do. Um, if I had a big, big enough 3D printer, I could technically 3D print a large shelf, which was my original intent because I was planning on doing the cell phone mount. But now that I also want to try and steady out my, my phone camera and my lights that I utilize while I'm drawing, this makes a little bit more sense. I mean, I could even go this route. This is a, uh, a piece of, uh, actually, that could go pretty well. Um, it, this is MDF. Now, part of me goes MDF could be a little too flexible. I think I'd like to use wood. <laughs> so I did another project that I haven't shown you guys the other day. Um, that was pretty fun and pretty simple, and it used this board right here. Actually, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to use this guy, I think, probably, maybe. Um, the premise of that was that I was making two shelves for my speakers in my basement for music production. Because I wanted to put them at the proper height for my ears and stuff like that. Uh, if you don't know music, then you go ahead and assume that that was completely unnecessary, but you have to hear it for yourself to understand. I'm a nerd. I know, I'm a nerd. So I was able to use some of that wood from uh, just some random stuff that was at my grandmother-in-law's house. And this wood is very reasonable. It's shipping wood. And uh, it's actually pretty light, but I would say that it's probably sturdier and a little bit stronger than MDF. So I think that will be just perfect, not to mention it's almost the right fit already. So what we'll need to do is cut it to length, and then i got to figure out how to do the edge. How am I going to do this so it sits at the right you know, angle so I can screw it in there? Um, part of me thinks cut it on my delta, um, but that'll leave it kind of off. I can do it on my table saw which honestly would make the most sense, but I have to change the plate. That does make the most sense. We might go that route. How tall up? How tall up? How tall up do you want this to be? So I want it to be pretty. I mean, I want it so that it, when it goes at the 45 angle, it's got a little bit of back lean. Uh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, hmm. I need to, I need to, I need to think about this. For the record, every video that I've ever made on this channel is much more about discovery than it is about knowledge, okay? Keep that in your mind 
as I do this kind of stuff. Because the reality is, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is all a learning experience, and I love the learning experience, but don't come looking to me like I have some kind of knowledge on what I'm doing. Fat chance. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a very long time since I've used this table saw. Probably mainly due to my own lack of knowledge on how to cut straight off on it. Because I have found that I have done a miserable job cutting boards on this thing. Now, I'm working with really old boards as it stands. Like, really, really old boards. But that have, like, completely warped and would need some very serious reworking to be usable. But the fact remains, whenever I cut something on this, it seems to have... Oh, look at that. I even glued... I forgot that I did that. Um, it seems to send everything in kind of like a, a, a circular direction, which I personally do not like. But uh, that would be probably my fault more than anything, I'm assuming. But we'll see. Oh, I just dropped it. Where'd it go? Put the blade at 40 degrees at least, and we're going to work right off of this. Oh, do I? Eh, you know what? I'm just going to cut off the excess. That's fine. I don't need to have this that specific. Um, so I'll run this through this way, and that will make the bevel... I'm just going to cut it and see what happens. Now perfect angle for for sure but I'm gonna try cutting this one more time same idea with this I think the next thing to do would be to go ahead and cut this to length <laughs> missed me cut this to length and uh, get ready to tack it on these edges this does bring up a very valid point uh, I chipped off some of the 45 degree or 40 degree angle that I've already cut this is a very very soft wood 
So when I try to mount this to this board, I need to make sure first off that we pre-drill the holes where we're gonna screw in. But I'm also thinking this probably needs some back support. It doesn't help that I beveled the back edge of this, which is, is good, but at the same time, doesn't help in this scenario. Just, this might make things weaker of, instead of stronger, and that's my main concern here. My, my original thought was to build something off the top or side of this that would simply just be a additional level. This whole 30, 40 degree thing was not originally my plan until now, but then I saw the opportunity to make a way to hold my cell phone as well. How would I make that stronger? By building a sidewall, like over here? Like a triangular sidewall that would give it stiffness? That just seems really overkill. Hmm. I, I mean, it needs to be super strong. Well, the next question is, if not this, then what? Because that board's right. It's not quite strong enough. All right, this thing is ugly, but it would be the perfect size for this board. I mean, look at this, literally, if I lay this here, it's like it's almost cut to fit. So that would work. I feel like the board would be a bit stronger it is a bit too tall, so I'd have to cut it. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me, no matter how straight I try to cut this, it doesn't come off straight off the table saw. I wish I could just blame the table saw, but then I'd want to buy another table saw. So this would go here. That's way too big, obviously, but then I'm wondering, okay, I just cut this off cut. Is there a way to utilize the off cut to solidify this somehow? And the answer might be yes. So, I think I need to cut my overall height now, which unfortunately I'm probably going to do on the table saw as well, though it's not going to leave it a nice straight cut. But what choice do I have? I'm a woodworker on a budget. Okay, so if this was to go here, and we drilled that in. Yeah, I wish that wasn't beveled in the back, which I originally did because I wasn't planning on taking this as far as I'm doing that now. Um, okay, and then the other question is, am I taking it too far? Like, should I bevel it? A little bit more. I like that though. I think I'm just gonna go with this. I think I'm overthinking it. I hope I don't regret this, but I'm just gonna move ahead. We're gonna drill holes. We're gonna put this in. We're just gonna call our day. And uh, yes, 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 yes. That's my theory. Don't overthink it. Um, I am gonna overthink solidifying it once I'm done. But for right now, I'm just gonna plan on going for this.
almost went as good as I was hoping it would. So all the holes are cut here that go right through the base. So there's not going to be a lot of wood to hold it to the other part. That's the main concern I have now. Whoever invented uh, the Phillips head screws uh, really just thought they had something amazing, but really what they were doing was trying to torture the world a little bit at a time. Because, yeah, Phillips head screws absolutely stink. For a guy like me who don't doesn't want to waste all my time breaking screws, which I do 90% of the time anyway. Interesting thought. Which is maybe the idea I had already come up with. They're definitely not planed well where they're not touching, but that's very interesting. I like that idea. I don't like the split in the wood, and I can't compress it. Oh, but look how lovely that is. That's lining up quite nicely. It worked. It worked and placed it exactly where I wanted it. Nice. That was a lucky one. That was a very lucky one. I'm stunned. Oh, it's working. It's super strong. Ha 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 It's actually working. Oh, my land. It looks unlevel at the top there. It probably is. But... Oh, maybe that's where? All the same, I really shouldn't judge it. It's my workmanship. It's really close. So I doubt that that's... I can sand it down. I can sand it down. So what I'll, I know what I'll do. I'll sand it down. And I use a piece of wood right here, zip into here, zip into here, or even just put that wood so it stands up a little bit taller there. Let's see if I got the scrap that would do the job. Or, if not scrap, how about this guy? Look at that. Look at that. Looky, looky. That's just about right. Just about right. Maybe a bit too much, but... Don't you do it. I see that micro crack. Nope. You're not doing that to me.
think we got it. I don't need absolute perfection. I just like it a little bit closer. Eh, I could use a bit more, but it's time to actually put it to the real test. I'm just hoping it works. Unfortunately, it's become quite light on the bottom now that I've done this. So what I need to do actually is add some extra wood to the opposite side of this now to weigh it down. Need to add extra wood? Always need to add extra wood, baby. Seems to be working. 